Yet another new twist in the college admissions scandal. Lori Loughlin's daughter, Olivia Jade, is reportedly furious with her parents and thinks they ruined her career. She has since been dropped by major brands, including Sephora and Trace May, and according to sources, she didn't even want to go to college, but her parents forced her to. Instead, she just wanted to continue her path as a social media influencer. And amidst all of these developments, there's apparently a new term for this type of parent. They're being dubbed snowplow parents because they try to clear obstacles out of the way of their kids, even as adults. Mm. Okay, so Dana, apparently you have a theory. I just have a theory that this is all a plan. Like they had a family meeting and they said, okay, you should go out and say that you're really mad that you never really wanted to go to college. And then when the, when the dust blows over, when, when it all gets sort of resolved, they are going to have a reality show. And it's going to be something where they get a lot of money to talk about their like dysfunctional family and how rich they are and how they didn't really want to go to college. I just think there's going to be a show. You know what's interesting about that though is given the trouble the parents are in, there will be such a disgorgement of funds and finances and wage garnishment from the feds if they if this continues down that line, then whatever money they make from Maybe that should get be paid the in girl. makeup hey, from wait, the wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Is disgorgement a word? Disgorgement. I've never yeah. heard that word. Disgorgement. Yes, say, yes. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. I learned a word. Disgorgement. <laughs> Don't Jesse, ban it. What would you do if one of your girls or both of your girls came home and they were like, Dad, we just want to be social media influencers. We don't want to go to college. What would you say? I'd change the will. <laughs> I'd change it right there and then. And that's what this younger girl is running up against. Mm -hmm. If you try to emancipate yourself or try to badmouth your mom and dad in the press, that will gets changed like in a heartbeat. So I'd be very <laughs> careful because she's going to be in the poorhouse if she disrespects her parents like that. My parents were the opposite of snowplow parents. I talked about the other day how they made me do these outdoor wilderness adventure survival schools. I had to sleep in lightning storms. We carried a kid out in a stretcher made from tree branches because he shattered his knee. I mean, I went through so much hell and, and heartbreak in these wilderness adventure <laughs> survival schools. They put me on a solo. They gave me three matches and said, I'll see you in three days. And I had to survive by myself. I had severe sunburn. On the, on, we, we had ice picks that we <laughs> climb up on the mountain with. We had a 10 mile ru fun run at the end of the trip. It was horrible. I feel like you're basically saying Boy Scouts was hell. No, it was, was worse. This is Boy Scouts on steroids. I had sunburn and then I got a blister. No, it was a lot more than that. How dare you disrespect my summers? <laughs> okay, Greg, I'm sure you feel strongly. Well, okay, so I, I'm not sure if this story is true because it begins with sources say, mm. but if true, two greatest words in journalism history, Big. Sh the daughter is absolutely right in this. She figured out that she didn't need college, and she looked around and she saw that she could pursue a career in social media. I, if this was my kid, I would have been so grateful that I didn't have to pay $100,000 a year and that this kid is already making a living off other dumb kids on social media. I mean, I think that I think she's absolutely right that she had the right way and her parents were forcing an old idea on her, but she knew better. She knew I'm not Maybe I don't need college. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do college. Maybe I could just fleece people on Instagram and become super rich. And then I'm like, I'm thinking like, I want to have a kid like that. You, you want your kid to fleece people. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, or wear fleece. Your kids are, they're so accomplished. Do you feel, I mean, are you. The Republicans, you mean. Yeah. <laughs> do you, do you uh, agree a little bit with what Greg's saying or do you, do you feel like, you know, a degree is valuable no matter what, and that should always be. Oh, I think I, th I think I think I love education. I think it teaches critical thinking, teaches you how to debate, teaches you. We were talking about speech uh, in the previous segment. I think you should hear people who have different opinions and have different experience. I just think that's that's the world we live in, and it's good for you. But I will say, in this case, I think these are like candy cane kids. They're melting in the rain, mm -hmm. and I think they are spoiled rich kids to no end, and their parents. The parents had their own reason for wanting to get into college, which I think is status. Right. Uh, but even if the kid, let's say you said, you know, kid, I want you to go to college because I believe in college. Why weren't they satisfied with letting the kid go to a college that the kid actually could merit, earn admission to? Apparently, that wasn't good enough for them because of the social status out in Hollywood or whatever. To me, this is 
a corruption of values and morals. I just don't approve of it. I, so I don't think the kid is right. I think the kid is vacuous and self-serving. But and she knows I don't that. Like it. Don't, that's what's great. Like she, knows, she knows she's vacuous. But so wouldn't you want to cure that? Wouldn't you want to no, help no. your kid no, rise encourage up? No, we want him to fleece people on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right.